Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today we're diving into the latest Eden Switch emulator test update, and trust me, this one's worth checking out. Now keep in mind, this isn't an official release. These are work in progress test builds that the developers are rolling out every few hours, constantly improving performance and compatibility. The version we're testing today was uploaded a few hours ago, and it brings some really promising changes. The biggest highlight is a major system driver fix, which is great news for anyone using MediaTek, Mali, or Snapdragon 8 Elite device that previously had trouble running the emulator smoothly or faced massive graphical glitches. In this video, we'll cover the full setup, best performance settings, and test how the new build runs Red Dead Redemption. Let's jump in. Let's go over the setup first. Start by enabling notifications. Next, install the product keys. These are essential for the emulator to recognize and decrypt your games properly. Once that's done, move on to installing the firmware file, which is required to boot the emulator and ensure system stability. After that, set up your game directories so Eden knows exactly where your game files are stored. The emulator supports both XCI and NSP formats, allowing you to play most Nintendo Switch titles with ease. Once everything is set up, you'll land on the home screen where all your games will appear ready to launch and play. Now let's move to the settings menu to optimize performance. Open advanced settings, then go to system settings. Turn limit speed off. This allows your phone to use its full processing power for better performance. You don't need to tweak much else here, so go back to advanced settings and open graphics settings. Set accuracy level to normal, and for resolution, choose Balanced, 0.75x. This setting is ideal for most devices. If you're on a low-end phone, you can lower it to 0.5x for smoother gameplay. Turn on Force Maximum Clocks if you're using an Adreno GPU and enable Asynchronous Shaders. Set V-Sync Mode to Mailbox and scroll down to change the aspect ratio to Stretch to Window for a full screen view. A new option here is the Input Overlay Settings, which automatically hides the on-screen touch controls when they're not in use. You can set the delay time according to your preference. After that, head into Eden's Veil settings, where you'll find some advanced tweaks. Set extended dynamic state to 1 or 2, depending on how powerful your device is, and scroll down to change VRM usage mode to aggressive. These adjustments help improve stability and make gameplay smoother, especially during demanding scenes. Now go back to the main settings page and check out the GPU driver setup. Eden supports custom GPU drivers, but this feature is only for Snapdragon users. Tap on Fetch Options, then select Recommended Drivers. You'll see several names like Mr. Purple Turn, Turnip, Game Hub Adreno, and Kimchi Turnip. The emulator will recommend one based on your device. For example, mine suggests Mr. Purple Turnip T22, so I'll go ahead and install that. Once installed, select it and you're done. However, if you're using Snapdragon 8 Elite or an unsupported processor, it's better to stick with the system driver for now as custom drivers may not work properly yet. Now it's time for the game test, and for this, we're using Red Dead Redemption 1 Switch version. On my Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 device, the game runs very smoothly, maintaining around 20 28 to 35 FPS with no major frame drops or fluctuations. The visuals look stable, the controls are responsive, and the gameplay feels consistent even in busy areas. What's more impressive is testing it on the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which previously had major compatibility issues. After this update, the game runs at a stable 25 to 30 FPS, completely free of graphical glitches, and that's without any custom GPU driver. This shows that the driver-related system fix is doing a lot of heavy lifting already, which is a big win for performance on newer chipsets. Overall, this update might not be an official release, but it's a solid sign of progress. The Eden team is working incredibly fast, pushing new builds every few hours, and improving device support and stability with each update. These updates may not be perfect yet, but they're getting closer to stable performance with each release. That's it for today's video. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you stay up to date with all future updates. I'll be back soon with more emulator news and gameplay tests. Until then, happy gaming and keep exploring.